going on and moving on to much, much bigger blades as compared to the previous chats. Um, I've been meaning to talk to you for some time already. I see a lot of your posts. The Millennial Steel on Facebook. Um, I see your Instagram post and the posts on Facebook. Um, I can relate to a lot of your posts because I do love slashing and testing my blades. So tonight... My guest is uh, Janice. Uh, Janice, can we have like a brief background now of, um, well, in general, it's a good about you. And then we can proceed on, I guess, what started you with, you know, with Philippine uh, blades. You know? But first, before okay, we get okay. that, we got to cheers because this is blades and beers. So tonight, Filipino pa rin, <laughs> brew kettle. Okay, okay. What's bla- what's blades and beers without beers? Yes, exactly. So cheers, man. Cheers before we start this. Cheers, 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 cheers. All right. Yeah. So I was saying, like, just give me a brief background of you know where all of this interest uh, started. All right. So let me get into it. Let me introduce myself first. My name is Janus Lorenzo Armata. You can call me Ja, by the way. I'm already 25 years old. Yeah, I'm a millennial. And then what I got started to collecting Filipino blades. Um, mm, siguro nung bata kasi ako, dream ko talaga magkaroon ng mga sword talaga or makahawak ng mga sword. Kasi I was watching like mga anime, yung mga superhero, okay. yung mga knights, yung mga sword. Parang childhood dream, dream ko talaga makapag-collect talaga ng mga sword. And then, what get into me to the Filipino blades? Kasi, ano sila for me? They are a work of art. Aesthetically beautiful, especially yung mga, yung mga talibong from Aklan, tapos yung mga barong, abang sa Moro Blades. Yun, yung aesthetics tala, aesthetics din yung isang factor bakit ako nagko-collect ng Filipino Blades. Tapos, and the third factor would be my training with Filipino martial arts, but is it, this, that isn't much. It's more of an aesthetic and childhood dream, ganun. Actually, yun yeah, kasi I, I, yun, you mentioned no, that you, when you were a kid, you, was, you watch anime and stuff like that. Um, but that didn't lead to, you know, foreign blades, katanas, as per usual, na inahanap natin when we watch those things. Uh, 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 talaga sa Filipino. Um, uh, napunta talaga sa Filipino. Mm-hmm. San, san mo nakita yung start niyan? Kasi diba, like sa anime naman, as you mentioned, makikita natin dyan, puro katanas and mga fantasy blades. Uh, how did, oh, <laughs> paano mo nalaman niyo about yung mga Filipino blades? Uh, okay, alright. Mm, I don't exactly remember actually. Eh. Mm-hmm. Pero from what I can remember is that I think there are two things. Eh. The first one is ito slight na factor lang eh. Yung sa FMA. Yung mga kasi di ba sa FMA yung mga blades, mga yan yung overrated na blade, yung ginunting. Talibong. Ay, ginunting siyempre yung pinaka-overrated. Tapos pinote, ganun. Nakikita ko yung mga Filipino blades dahil doon. The second factor would be the most is the page of Filipino traditional blades. Eh. Ayun, dun ko nakita talaga. Tapos dun ako na-inspire mag-collect talaga ng Filipino traditional blades and delve into it. Yeah. And yeah, yun. Yun yung pinili kong pa. I, I gotta say, we gotta do special mention to that page. 
Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, kahit ako, when I saw that page, talagang parang drool-worthy. Mas mapapa, ano ka talaga, eh, maingganyo ka talaga to get, you know, your own uh, blades. Yes. As you mentioned earlier, parang it was the aesthetics and the art. I mean, you and I mm-hmm. both came from martial arts background. But this aspect mm-hmm. is on the art aspect of it. Eh. So, ang ganda niya talaga tingnan. And that, I guess that's what started the collection. No? Uh, so, yes, yeah. so that's the background. What started the man, or what was your first um, Filipino blade? Mm, should I show it? Yeah, yeah, sure, please. There are, ano eh, there are four. My first Filipino blade acquisition would be the Kinochilio. Ito na discover ko rin to sa Filipino traditional blades eh. Ito yung pinakauna kong goal na i-collect talaga. So, pakita ko yung ano. Ah, please unsheet. Niya. There. Unsheet, ayan. And handle, stock wood, brass uh, handguard, may pin, ah, wait, may pin, ah, where's the camera? Ayan, may pin. Here's the blade, hollow grind. Almost like a, ano, no, Bowie. Tama ba? And then, this one. Cold it, ano, eh, gunong, eh. Nakuha ko to sa, yung pangalan na store nun, yung Mindanao Textile. Yes. I'll unsheet the blade. Ayan. So, the first one pala, the Kinochilio, and then this one, I acquired it in the year 2019. So, they, That is the first years of my collection, actually. And then the third one, yeah, I have many firsts. My four first blades. Okay, yeah. So this is a talibong, iloilo, binango. Ayan. So I unshift the blade. Ayan. So ano, no? Talibong na iloilo, ganito yung usual na design ng scabbard nila. Yeah. Parang may letter tang na tinatawag. Ayan. Tapos parang kanya na aesthetic, kanya na signature. The next, the last one would be my most appreciated uh, first blades. Yeah, first. Minas Bad. Bicol. Galing sa Bicol own blades. I think this is one of their first generations. Eh. Kasi mga gawa na nila, ano na eh, talagang gaganda na eh, sobra. Yeah, nakita ko ngayon, uh, naka-etch na yung blade, tapos sobrang daming carvings ng mga sheep. Um, sometimes they're, they're almost like the antique. Eh. Mm-hmm. From what I saw. Ito, ito. Tapos ito yung scabbard. Ito may signature nung ano, nung parang panday. Ayan. Di ko, tan- di ko tanday yung exact name. Eh. I acquired this one, I think, December 2019. Yung Minasbad. So after one, this... <laughs> Sabi nga nung isang blade collector, it starts there nga daw talaga. <laughs> it's, it's a drug. Um, sige, so at least, you know, yeah, those were your initial four. Um, a question of mine would always be siguro, what made you pick those blades? I mean, there are a lot of sources, di ba? Parang, ba't yun yung napili mo kagad? Uh, or, or why were those the first? Was it a specific reason under it? Or was it just, you know, as you said earlier, aesthetics, nagandaan ka? Okay, but yun yung una ko kayo nung hapo, no? Bali, yung sa Kinochilio kasi, ano yan, eh? Uh, na-discover, ayun nga, na-discover ka talaga sa FTB yan. Tapos, website, yeah. parang na-mention na- yung page nung, ano, nung kwan, nung gumagawa. And then, the rest of the three is availability, eh. Kasi sila pa nung, yung BOP pa lang yung nasa Facebook, tsaka yung, hindi ko tanda yung sa binangon, eh. Oh, so Isang sila active at that individual time. yun eh. Oh, sila active yun at that time eh. Kaya ganun. Alright, And alright. then yung, although yung ano pala, 
yung gunong. I just bought it personally do sa ano, Expo sa SM Mega Mall last 2019 din. Yan yung sa ano ano sa textile. Yes, yes. Uh, because they were there. Yeah. Okay. Dapat nga dapat nga barong yung mga bibilhin ko eh. Pero yung mga naging available na lang kasi na magaganda. Uh-huh. Yung ganito talaga eh. Kaya nag-aim ako dito eh. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, sige. So, so, I'll switch my One camera. One bottle per blade ba tayo? Ah, um, naku sayang, dalawa <laughs> lang yung bote ko. <laughs> One blade per shot eh, no? Sige, <laughs> sige. So, ayan. Mabarong talibong. And ayan yung beer. Yung mga barisong. Sansi bar. Ayan. Run through muna tayo. Bago mag-discuss. Sure. Ay no marami nagmamata ngayon sa Chris na yan eh. <laughs> And then sa dami ng collection ko hindi na nagkasya sa isang dami sa Ayan, so pointing na ba? Ayan, nasa Ayan. So a myriad of blades. So paano ko siya? So Sansibar. Ayan. Ayan, ship the blade. Ayan yung blade niya. 24 inches. The Tabada family is known to be the Sansibar blade makers, uh, by the way. This is center cut. So, ito. Sinanbuk Kaldaga from Locano Traditional Blades. Ayan. One of my favorite knives actually. Kasi parang pang labanan talaga. Tsaka knowing my background. Tapos ito yung, inter- ito yung interesting piece sa akin. Kasi napipare sa ako kung ano ba talaga. Napipare sa ako i-research ko ano ba talaga ID nito. Pero unfortunately... I cannot have a lead, it seems. So, I'll just call it a Sundang from Samar. Maganda siya. Unknown maker, unknown artisan. Chisel grind. Ayan. So, for me, this is a... When you hold this, for me, this is a perfect definition of balance. Eh. Tsaka, when I cut through it, it's challenging eh, kasi... Ito yung parang wait lang. Ito yung parang sweet spot niya. For in my opinion kasi parang hindi mo pwedeng pa, ipalipas dito. Dapat dito talaga eh. Yeah. Kaya challenging siya ikaw. So that's why I like it. <laughs> I like a challenge. Hm? Okay, okay. So this one Panday Lotivo with a Ang tawag nila Tawag yata dito Sinturere. I don't know. Uh, correct me na lang. Anybody. So, Carabao Horn Handel. Tapos yung pin. Ayan. Scabbard. The blade. By the way, sungot o lang. I forgot to mention the name of the blade. 17 inches. This is a recent gift to me by a Certain Blade Brother. Sobrang ano siya. Although post-World War II na blade siya. Haba, sorry. Post-World War II na blade. Sobrang na-appreciate ko siya. Kasi parang pag tinitignan ko siya, na-inspire ako bumili ng bahay. Ah, na-inspire ako mag-ipon. Tapos bumili ng bahay, tapos mag-ipon. <laughs> Ayan. So, restoration in... Prog- ano pa, pending pa. Kasi slightly busy ako sa tabaho. So, yung handle niya, brass, I think. Ayan yung blade niya. So, yung scabbard. Pakita ko ulit. Ayan. Okay naman yung view ng camera, no? Yep, yep. 
So, ang ganda ng mga hukit. Yep. Pakit, pakita ko ulit. Tapos yung sa handle. Maganda. Ganda na details. Tiboli Kampilan. Ayan. With bells. Na yung nire-restore ko. Itong bells, nilagay ko lang. Grass handle. Ayan, may textile yung yung scabbard. Tapos, ang sabi nung kaibigan ko, ay hindi, mali pala. Tinalak ata yung tawag sa ano? Sa textile? Not sure. Hindi ko maalala may higi. I'll show the blade. Ayan. May napapansin ka sa pattern ng blade? I'm not so sure kasi kung laminate ito, pero I don't know. Di pa ako nakapag-laminate na ito. I'm not so sure yet. Pero allegedly daw. So ito, inaano din ng mga kolektor. Eh. Lito Arda Pinute. Siyempre, as the idol to. So, traditionally, this is how a Pinute looks like. Usual, as usual, chisel grind. So, here's the wait, signature of Lito Arda. And then, the, the beautiful picket. Then, the handle. Ganda nung picket, no? Dito ako nang-appreciate ng weaving. Eh. Ayan yung scabbard niya. Next one would be ito. Sanduko, talibong, from Capiz. Ayan. May ano siya? Carving. So, Sporting A in a long hill. From all the talibong hills, this one is my favorite and the most ergonomic for me. So, ayan, no? sarap ako. Ano? Okay siya kawakan. So, this is a linam... Hmm? Sakto siya sa fist mo. Oh, saktong-sakto. This is a linamay blade profile. Um, so, three, there are three kinds of blade profiles, no? I'll dis- discuss it shortly. Mm-hmm. Chisel grind. This is usual. Usual sa Visayan blades ang chisel grind. Next one. This is a version of the Naampalay ang Kamsur. One of the awesome acquisitions during 2020. And mala- one of Bicol on Blades mala- Malatapay series. I just put in an accessory here, by the way. So, alum- I think aluminum fittings. I am my way by I think what it means is matalas yata. Talas. Here's the... May pin siya. Okay, here's the blade. Ayan. I call... I named this blade as white heart. No? Kasi una-una yung color ano niya is white. Siyempre, white eh. Halangan naman black heart. Tapos, <laughs> white yung ano, diba? Sasabihin ng mga... Ano, what the hell? So, tapos heart kasi ayan. Nice. Nice. Nice detail. Yeah. Yeah. A simple name, yet beautiful and deadly. My left, left hand so, training. What? Left hand training cutting. A sundang from Bicol. By the way, sundang is a generic term, just like itak. Generic term being ang itak. Pero sabi daw, tawag dito slicer. Again, chisel grind. Kasi from Bohol. Ayan yung handle niya. Color orange. Ayan. So, Have one I of sure? my most favorite blades. Because it is simple. And I feel that it will never fail me in cutting or drills. Or doing drills. Ayan. Yun yung scabbard niya. Ito yung handguard. 
tapos galvanized steel i think so i am very ergonomic it has a word uh, uh, do you see the word uh, it's yeah, so oh, it's the light the light catches i what is this called um from what i've asked from Alagos blacksmith. Hindi ko kasi maalala nung tawag sa plant na yun. Basta lumalaki daw sa kanila yung yung nakaukit kasi dito. Yung plant na yun, lumalaki sa lugar nila. Hindi ko maalala kung anong plant yun or puno. Can't remember that. So next. Should we go to Bali songs first? Sure, sure. Alright. So this is my Bali com. This is a gift by my mother after I graduated during high school. So this is been long for me. And technically, I don't really consider this a blade, but this is the first in my collection. But I don't really consider this a blade. So I did not include it in the first four. Um, tapos, ito. From 29 centimeter debuyod from Abes Balisan. And then a recent one, Giron Balisan, 29 centimeter labaha. Pangahit talaga, pangkat ng mga package. I'm, I've been a, I'm a big fan of Kiron, so... <laughs> same, same. Uh, tapos, horsebone handle, by the way. And it's so beautiful to be fitted in a balustong. For me, it's one of the beautiful, aesthetically beautiful fittings in, or scales in a balustong. Yung, ano, um horse bone. Next one, this is a gift from my office mate in the BPO I work on. Another balikom. Anong tatak daw nito bench mate? Eh. Ayan. Mas tarap siya i-flip kasi slim lang siya. Ayan. So next one, ang EDC talaga. 24 cm abes palisong. So yung isa ding abes palisong pansin yung may ano din hangers. Yun kasi yung isa sa favorite features ko. Oo. Oh. Ito yung isa kong Kinofi H. Oh, yeah. Oo. Oh, oh. Um, Nara scale. Puro brass, brass housing pala yun by the way. Brass housing lahat. Tapos ito yung pinang open ko by the way sa Sunmig. Before we start this, I just like doing it. Oh, is it okay to feature it, feature it in in it here? Yes, go on, man. It's not, it's not a Filipino traditional blade. Okay, lang pero that's still part of your EDCs. Ah, this is a dedication, kasi to my friend. Nagigalan niya to sa akin. Sobra kong tinay treasure. Ayan. Birthday gift niya sa akin dati before COVID-19 took the world. Ayan. Yeah. So what's next? Mamaya na yung mga boring. Post-war sang. Ayan. Pang-open ng battle mo. I haven't restored this now. It's so in progress pa rin. Sang. The light takes over. And this one, uh, akala ko unidentifiable but with the help of Sir Randy. By the way, shout out to Sir Randy. Thank you again for, identify, for IDing this. This is what they call kebaho. Also for betel nut utility blade. Um, I've asked my friend again, tinalak daw yung tawag sa textile. 
So here's the blame. Pang utility talaga. Hindi siya pang ano. Pang kuwan. Utility talaga. And this is how you hold it. Sarap ang balat to. <laughs> Makes me wanna get a modern one. Ayan. I've lately appreciate utility blades kasi dati puro fighting blades lang talaga. The Ganon thing is from Panay while this one is from Lumad. Lumad areas. And then wait. This one Bla and Pais. So, restoration pending pa din. So, yung dinidepict dito sa ano, yung mga nandito, usually yung mga nakikita nung mga lumad. For example, ito ay bundok, yung mountain. I was some certain Blade Brothers na. Ito daw, mountain daw. Then I am. Feature ng Blaan Faiz. Brass ano to? Ferro. Ayan yung blade niya. Okay. Ayan. Okay. Sinampalo from Pagbilaw Pesa. Sa utility blade. Ayan. Look like this. Sinampalok. Mas pababa siya. Sinampalok. And then, let's go to, ito, nandito sa tabi ko. Ito. Lamingko, Cebu. Bakunawa Handle. Ayan yung moon. Tapos yung Bakanawa Dragon. Tapos uh, floral motif sa scabbard. Open siya. Then may signature dito sa ano? Sa blade. Ayan. Tapos may ano siya? Para may palubog dito. Para comfortable yung pagbul ng paganyan. Okay. Chisel grind. It's it's a good blade to hold. Then copper wire. One of the most awesome acquisitions during 2020 from a Lagos blacksmith, the good. Ito, new scabbard niya. Pwede pang ipit sa belt or what. Tapos, ayan, may blood group na tinatawag. And, ano siya? Mm, hollow grind din. Karabaw horn handle. Brass ferrule and hand guard. Tapos ito yung may signature ng ano, Alagos Blacksmith. If you can see though. Nakita niyo ba? Para may tatlong linya na it looks like a fire. Uh, okay. Kita no? Uh. Signature daw nila. Tinanong ko eh. Napansin ko lang kasi. Then this one. A classic ganun thing from Iloilo. This is technically called Tinegre kasi may carving. Sabi sa akin. Ayan yung carving niya. Pakita ko muna. So ano no kapag ka yung mga antique na Tinegre. Sobrang ganda. Sobrang detail. Kung nakita mo yung mga post sa group. Napaganda. Ito yung scabbard niya. Ito, isa to sa mga acquisitions na napawawa ko eh. Isa sa mga modern acquisitions na napawawa ko kasi this, the scabbard reminds me of the antiques eh. The antique Iloilo Talibons. Because, siguro because of the brass fitting din tsaka the combination of the black color. So, ayan. A classic ginong thing. One of the most overrated <laughs> Filipino blades. Chisel grind also. And 15 inches blade. 
So when you hold it, it's like you hold a knife. Kasi maliit siya. Ito. Pinaka-paborito kong utility blade. Kasi blade si Nampalo. This is a custom. Tinesting ko ito recently eh. Napakatibay niya. Napaka-decent nung ano. Nung... nung ano niya, heat treatment. Kahit ipukpuk ko ng ilang beses sa kahoy. Actually, after pa ng isang certain video, nagpukpuk pa ako ng mga tatlong kahoy. Okay. Nakapag-cut pa rin sa paper. Ayan siya. Wala, wala pa siyang ano, blade rolling. Oo, oh, wala pa. Parang dito na, dito ko nasabi na ano, na na ito na yung magiging official na utility blade ko. Okay. Tsaka, dito ko napagtanto din na ano eh. Ah, uh, when, ah, uh, sharp, ano to? When you have a sharp knife, your life is good. Hindi <laughs> ko alam yung exact phrase eh, pero ganun yung, ano, yung kwan niya. Pero may isa rin akong alam na okay. phrase. You can never have enough ah. knives. <laughs> yes. Sure, relate ako dyan. Matter, diba? <laughs> <laughs> relate, relate. And then this one, next, sungot ulang from Pagdilaw Keston. Ayan siya. Karabauhan handle. May pin. Ras ferrul. May konting handguard. Hollow grind. 18 inches blade. This is very decent to hold eh. it. It's all balance. Pang ano talaga. If you are an FMA, you should get a sumo to lang too. Okay. Next one. Ito. Di na akong buho. Ayan. May pin din siya, it seems. Carabao horn handle, I believe. Tapos, hindi ko alam anong kahoy, sir. From Quezon to, by the way. Chaong, ay, Chaong nga ba? Chaong Quezon. Hindi ko tanda ba sa Quezon province? Ang kakaiba, ang kwan dito. Ngayon ko lang narinig yung dinahong buho. Tinanong ko, akala, akala ko nga nung una, dahon pala ito. Oh, iniinsist ko pa nga dati. Oh, iniinsist ko nga actually na dahon pala yun. Eh. Um, tinanong ko doon sa nabilang ko, sabi niya, yung daong buho daw is, yung parang dahon daw sa ano, sa, ano yun? Yung sa mga bambu. Okay, next one. 20, 26-inch blade Zanzibar. It might not fit in the camera. It's too long. Yan, with pin. White horn handle. Ayan. Sa mga lumang blades, meron ding ano, mga white horn. So, it's been a thing. So, I believe parang white horn din yung pang ano niya, Isabel. Ayan. Ayan yung blade niya. Malinis. Nga ba? Yeah. Ayan. Yung mahaba siya. Pang ano. Feels like as almost a saber sa so, sobrang haba. Oo. Uh-huh. Ano, okay naman ni hold, decent. Tapos may pin siya. So, you are confident enough to swing this. No problem. Another another one, a signature blade na minaspad na meron. Ah, I mean, signature blade ng Nicole. Another one. Minas Bad. Wait, I'll show the scalper. I forgot. And maganda yung carving. Yeah, Simple lang siya. Feel. Maganda. Ang contrast kasi ng color. Na- Oo. Oh, ordinaryo lang siya pero maganda aesthetic. Um, tapos, di ko natanong kung nung naka-defect dito sa scabbard yung ganda. 
na ako curious tuloy ako. Kasi ang ganda niya, so, as in, kahit ordinary lang. Minsan pa nga kung ano yung ordinary, yung pang mas maganda. Yeah. Tapos, I like the ano, carving of the handle. Ayan, may pin pala siya. Oh. Carving of the handle. Kasi, ano parang ang rug niya, pero hindi ma- maano. Maganda siya eh. It's decent to hold. Minaspad din na laya. 19 inch blade, may hand guard. It's heavy. Parang pang dahon palay. Ito, ano na lang ito eh. I think this is an intraditional eh. Ano na lang yata to artist rendition na. Parang tiger. Na may hand guard siya. Tapos, ayan. Scabbard niya. Ito. May false edge siya dito. Ayan. Hindi ko alam mo kita yung lubog eh. Yeah, kita ko sa Yung parang full stitch. So this is, ano eh, very light. Very light to handle. Ayan. Tapos very sharp pa. Ito tawag daw dito. Wait, let me drink a beer. Okay, next one. Uhastari. Uhastari from Real Quezon. So, ayan. Plain but beautiful kasi may green siya. Ayan, may green. Yun yung nagpapabawi sa aesthetic niya. Kahit wala siyang carving or whatsoever. Ayan yung ano niya. Yung parang tawag nga dun. Yung parang pampamingkis niya. Tapos, ano to? Uh, horse of handle, which is usual sa prison blades. Ayan. Paanang kabal. Decent to hold. Feels right. 19 inches blade. Yung ano, itong sa mga tari, kasi ang daming tari eh. Ayan, uhas tari, was tari, tapos hus tari. Ang sabi sa akin nung ng isang Blade Brother, yung tari daw na series na blades, is yung sa, ano, yung sa mga, di ba yung sa mga manok? Yung kapag, ano to? Yung sabong? Yes. When the two chickens fight? Yung clone nila, ini-equip to nung parang, ng parang malilit na blade. Yung tawag daw, tari. Doon daw din i-ride. Yung mga tari na blades na ita. And, So, palo, paano siya? Parang may pababa. Yung usual feature ng Wastari. And the next one, another talibong. Yeah, may fan of talibong. As you can see, nakailang talibong na tayo eh. Ayan. Maganda yung ukit. This is from Antique din eh. Ay, maganda ukit niya. Ayun, simple lang. Maganda aesthetic. Yan yung mga tali, usual sa feature ng isang talibong na may carving. And then, ayan, yun yung handle niya, heel. Nilagyan ko ng ano dito kasi para bang pizzahan ko. And then, may depiction daw ng ano eh. Yung parang cutman flower. Ayan, ayan. Parang mga bulaklak. And then, ito... Tinanong ko din ito, ano ito eh. An- anong tawag na dito? Ah, ang ganda nung handguard, no? Parang artistic talaga, pero functional. Hindi ko mahalala ng tawag dito. May simbolism daw. Ano nga yan? Ito ay head. Ano ba yun? Heaven to. Tapos sa baba, see? I can't remember correctly kasi that was many months ago. Ayan. Kinampit profile. So another profile of Talibong. 
So we did go through the we did go through to the Linamai Play profile. By the way, the one the Talibong from Alagos Plus Blacksmith is ano, Bakutan. I haven't mentioned it. Sorry. Ito kay Namkit. That siya dito. Chisel grind. Tapos may burda din. Kita mo. Oo. Oh, okay. So, it's delightful to handle. 19 inches blade. I hope you are enjoying the view of my blades. Hopefully. Ah, hindi. Padala mo na lang dito, Janos. <laughs> kailangan, ba, kailangan pa bang palinis? <laughs> okay. Papalalamog na lang. <laughs> okay. So, panabas. Naging danaw. Ayan yung letter handle pinagawa ko eh. Kasi nung dumating sa akin, walang scabbard. And then, kasi parang dalawang beses na ako nasugatan dito. Kasi pag kumukuha ako ng blades dito sa box ko, eh di nakasingit lang yung ano, yung yung panabas. Eh di minsan na aksidente ko na kukuha yung blade. Eh di pinalagyan ko na ng scabbard. Ayan, letter siya. Dito ko siya pinagawa sa Marikina yung scabbard. Okay. By the way, Marikina is known for such is known for such eh, yung mga letter. Yung mga letter na shoes, ganyan. Anything na letter. They're known for it. Kaya ako kapag magpapagawa ng scabbard or mga holster ng balisong, ganyan. Dito talaga. Ayan. So mga buttons. Ganaan sheet to blame. Ayan. Panabas. From what I remember, 9 inches blade or 10 ba yun? And panabas. Can you see it? Because the light, I think the light is obstructed. Yeah, okay lang. Kita. Kita. Uh, yeah. Kita. Okay, next one. Another more blade. This is a modern one. Maginda na din. Kipping. Ayan. Simple aesthetics. Yung pampamintis niya para di sa uwastan. Malit lang. May hand card. Lume ng ferul. Ayan. 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 Kung mapagpansin mo, parang sobrang patas ng ano niya mo. Disappointed na. Clip point siya. And then, patas yung yung, do, yung tip niya. Mataas. Ayan. If, I hope you can see it though. Yes. Uh, kita naman yung shape. Okay. This is most beautiful acquisition so far noong 2020. Aklan Talibong. Such aesthetic or such signet, the signet, ano ta? Such design signature is known to Aklan. Mga ganyan. Maganda yung upit, no? Grabe, sobrang ganda. Napaganda nga, eh. Parang ayaw ko na ikat, eh. Gusto mo? Sa'yo na lang. Joke la. Actually, hindi ako yun yung hindi dyan. So, sabihin ko nga sa'yo na, pa- <laughs> Padala mo na dito. <laughs> the joke lang. So, I have a... So, this one... Ano, no? This one, et, ito yung nakasugat talaga sa akin ng todo. Eh. <laughs> ng aksident. Medyo malalim yung sinugat nito sa akin kasi parang dati nag-check ako ng blades. Tapos kasi nagsa-sound trip ako nun. Eh. And then, parang... Kasi di ba nagsa-sound trip? Parang... Oh, may focus ka pero medyo distracted ka. Naka-headset pa naman. Tapos, hawa ko nang ganyan yung talibong. Hindi ko napansin, nag-check ako na nag ko na. 
Wow. Sabi ko, pucha, ang lalim. May picture ko pa naman. Eh, wala na akong oras picturean kasi ang sakit tapos sobrang lalim. Kaya napumunta ako sa CR, inugasan ko na yung sugat. Oh. So, ayun, I have a special bonding with this plate. Oh. Blessed. Ang sab- parang sabi yata nung sa blade collector, hindi pa sa'yo talaga ang blade 100% tagat, hindi pa nakakasugat sa'yo yun. Uh, Ayan. Sinumak ako. Sinumak blade profile na modified. Yung sinumak, no? Or bakutan. Usually, may clip point sila. Ito may clip point din. Hindi halata. Napakaliit yung detail. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Ayan. Napaka-pointy. Ito slim siya. Sobrang gaan. Kaya sarap iya yung wasiwas. Chisel grind din, syempre. Okay, yan. Talabang. Special mention to Sir Soviet for this awesome talabang. The talibang. Next one. Kinagigiliwan din ng mga collector. Oh, I know. Fell out. Kinagigiliwan din ng mga collector actually. I didn't know na, ano eh, isa din to sa mga goals ng mga collector. Kasi nung nakuha ko to, dami ng chat signs saan ko daw nakuha, ganun. Mm. This is a mango bentis eh, sa Buanga Barong. Simple lang, pero bumabawi yung aesthetics sa, ano, sa green nung kahoy. Pakita ko yung buo. Ayan. Actually, ano, dapat hindi dito nakalagay yung pishabit kasi hindi ito tausog, tausog barong eh. Nilagay ko lang siya dito. Baka kasi, baka kasi may magalit na puri sa akin ba't nilagay ko yung pishabit dito. Kasi para lang hindi mawala. Kasi baka mamaya mawala itong pishabit eh. Kaya nilagay ko lang muna dito. I am planning to buy a yakan, I think, um, yakan textile or something. Ayan yung grain ng wood. Maganda. The pishabit. Temporary textile for now. Ayan yung handle niya. Narinig mo ba yung tunog? It sings, man. It sings. Narinig mo ba? Yung Janice, di ko na rin. Kailangan, kailangan dito ko masubukan. <laughs> Diyos ko po. Di mo narinig. Oh, repeat, repeat. Repeat. Repeat, repeat. Repeat. <laughs> isa pa, isa pa. Hindi pa rin. Masarap pakinggan eh. <laughs> hindi pa rin, hindi. Padala ko na dyan, lalamog ko na nga eh. <laughs> oh, last one. Yun yung gusto ko pag inaansit ito eh. Naririnig ko. So, it's deceivingly hollow grain. Hollow grain talaga siya. Hindi lang alata. Wala lang ling. May parang palubog. Palubog. I don't know a better term for that, pero palubog. Ayan. Mabigat siya. Good for chop-chop. Barong. 19 inches. Sambuanga barong. Gonna show the blade for the last yes, time. Yes, yes. Tagal ng screen time eh, no? <laughs> Star of the show. Tagal ng screen. Tagal ng screen time. Ayan, okay. Sige. I think one of my favorite blades and one of my favorite acquisitions from Sir Elmer of the Colon Blades. He called this ano yung Wastari fighting type. Magaan. But it fits, feels like a saber and It kind of reminds me of ano, of the ter- sur- swords from Turkey and usual swords from Europe, yung mga saber. Yeah. Ayan. Ganda ng ukit, no? Tapos may baiba yun. Ang baiba, ang naka-indicate dito is, ano to? Matalas, mabuhay. Ayan. Ganda ng ukit. And then the handguard, ang ganda. Kinabayo hill with pin. Kinabayo horse. Karabaw horn. 
Luminum Fairy. Here's the sword. Ayan, kita ba? Ganda. Tapos may upit siya. Ayan. Pataas na yung point. Yung point na pataas. Ah, ito. Nung una kong na-acquisition ito, ah, na-acquisition, una kong nakuha ito, binuksan ko sa package. Tapos, pagka bukas ko nito, nitong blade na ito, nasugatan ka agad ako. <laughs> Bless ka agad. Para sa'yo. Bless talaga. Bless talaga. Tapos, kasi yung kasalanan ko rin, hindi ko mahila nung una eh. Tapos, pagka-open ko, parang umano dito yung ano, finger ko. Bless. Na-bless ang blade. <laughs> Ayan, so, I feel like it's really mine. So, sobrang gaan siya. Ang shit ko ulit. Ayan. 24 inches blade. Spine niya. Is the light obstructing the view? Ayan. Ah, uh, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Ayan siya. Yun. Okay. I think it's the last of my collections na. Hit that. Uh, thanks for showing us a uh, run through your blades. You know, this is really blade appreciation. Um, but you know, that leads me to my next question. A lot of people uh, who get into the hobby or who would like to collect, of course, with uh, consider it as treasures. I mean, I treasure a lot of my weapons also. And then, what got you into actually using them, testing them, stress testing? Kasi syempre, you know, hindi natin may iwasan. Iba siya, madadamage. It's not gonna be the same. Mm-hmm. Diba? So what led you to that? And then, uh, yun, parang what, what, what made you try it first? Tapos tinalito ah, okay. with all of the blades. Have you been testing all of your blades? Ah, okay, okay. Because actually, it's, it doesn't have not to something to do much with any, the blade themselves. Eh. It, it is something related to FME. Is that okay? I'll share. Yeah, of course. Okay. Um, it's it's because on my curiosity of the nuances between the sticks and the blades. Because, ang um, ano tama na, actually obvious na eh. tama na yung yung presumption na the nuances of the blades and the sticks are different, and it led me to cutting and testing my blades. That's what it led me to. And I tested uh, some techniques and that. Some tex- technique doesn't, some techniques of the stick doesn't work on the blade because again, no one says. No one says talaga. All right. Yeah, so you're Kasi, tsaka, kasi, when you hit with the stick, kasi, yung pinakamalakas din is yung tip ng stick talaga. Tsaka wala kasi siyang tinatawag na blade alignment. Yes. Kasi sa, sa blade, ayun, as I mentioned, may alignment talaga. Kailangan tutuin, tutok mo talaga. Pag hindi nakatutok kasi, pansin ko, parang ang pangit nung paga, ganun. Tapos, sa ano? It can damage your blade. Um, yeah, it can, da- sometimes it can damage the blade kapag ka, uh, Siguro hindi maganda yung heat treatment or yung hardening yeah. kung hindi maganda. Ayun lang. Right. It has something to do talaga with FMA. Yeah, yeah. Actually, FMA curiosity. FMA curiosity. That's the better term. All right. Actually. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Yeah, I guess that's all for now. Uh, thank you for the for your time. Thank you for running through your collection. Um, I learned a lot also because I do like Filipino blades and there's a lot of information and tidbits that you gave that I didn't even know uh, before this. Mm-hmm. So 
that's that's really good and um i really appreciate also that we have a very supportive community growing community that appreciates the same blades and treasure them so yeah that's one of the reasons why i wanted to chat with you also so yeah that's it man cheers 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 good night good night thank you <laughs>